The Curve Fills provides many benefits. It allows you to create unique, flowing stitch patterns that add motion and dimension to your designs. This video looks at techniques available in Embroidery Studio to create decorative curves and swirls. We use Van Gogh's famous self-portrait of 1889 as a reference. This provides the perfect backdrop to demonstrate our unique curve fill embroidery effects. First up, we flesh out the background using tatami with complex fill for the larger blocky objects. Adjust settings as you wish and turn off auto underlay. Turn on Trapunto and apply Florentine effect. This effect lets you define a curved guideline for virtually any shape. The fill stitch pattern will then automatically follow it, all the while maintaining uniform density. Use a smooth curve to give a natural, organic feel to otherwise plain, flat fills. Now we try contour stitch with column A for a similar effect with a narrower, curling object. Adjust stitch spacing for a slightly denser fill. This stitch type follows the contours of a shape to create a curved light and shade effect and sense of movement. Again using contour stitch, we now trace a shape with pointed ends using column B. Again, adjust stitch spacing to suit. Now we have three object types using a mixture of Florentine effect and contour fill. Continuing in the same way, we complete the background with a series of adjoining swirls. Now comes the fun part. Duplicating the entire background, we create a three-tone, colour-blended effect to resemble the scumbled look of the original painting. Apply a complementary colour to the duplicate layer. Adjust settings of all duplicated objects to reveal the underlying objects. To start with, we're going to try and block out the face, creating a kind of 3D mask. Again, we use tatami with Florentine effect to create the curved line of the brow. Adjust stitch spacing and offset fraction settings for a more organic look. We even apply hand stitch effect to mimic brush strokes. Using the freehand open shapes tool, we add details of skin hues and tones. Using the same digitizing methods as the background, we set to work on the beard to create the various layers and volumes. We finish off again using the freehand Open Shapes tool to create a scumbled, painterly effect. Again using the same combination of methods, we flesh out the hair and eyebrows. Add the eye sockets and trace details such as hair and face lines with pickout runs. Again, use the same digitizing methods as the background objects to create the layers of the torso. Here we open the tatami stitching right up. Use Trapunto to hide any internal connecting runs. Here we use a variety of stitch spacings for colour gradation and contrast. Create objects for a second layer to build up the design. Choose a complementary colour and adjust stitch spacings to suit. Use pickout runs to delineate shapes and add details such as lapels and buttons. And there we have it an expertly digitized facsimile of Van Gogh's iconic self-portrait of 1889. To achieve the result, we've used a mixture of object types and stitch effects to mimic the organic look of the original painted surfaces. 
Stitches and effects used in this design include hand stitch effect, free hand, as well as contour stitch and Florentine effect. For more information about Embroidery Studio, consult the online help or reference manual.